Well, he talked about it during his campaign for office, but Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett is now making good on his plan to shine a light on crime. And that plan includes installing 100 streetlights in 30 days. Our City Beat reporter Mary Mills takes a close look tonight at where it's needed and how much it could cost. The mayor's office says they've got the money to cover the first 100 lights. After that, they're not so sure. Still, many like the plan, especially those who live in challenged neighborhoods like this one. I'm old. I, I can't deal with it over here. Moved from her mother's house on West 29th. We were sitting on the porch one time and gunshots came from over there and went through the walls. So it's too much. Valencia Holloway says adding streetlights won't stop crime here, but it might deter it some. As you can see more, people, they hide in between houses and stuff, and you know, they don't care about who they shoot. Plans call for installing the first 100 lights in the city's focus or high crime areas like this one. Derek Jackson says it might be bright here now, but come nighttime. You know, sometimes we have blackouts there, even on that light down there, and it's the only light for two blocks. The city stopped paying for new street lights 35 years ago to save money. Since then, residents wanting additional lights have had to foot the bill, like Colleen Fanning did a few years ago. It's really hard to protect each other and be vigilant in darkness. Fanning, a Republican counselor, lives in Broad Ripple, where a couple of years ago several people were jumped along dimly lit streets after leaving the bars. She's glad the city plans to invest in more street lights, but wonders where the money will come from. Lights cost anywhere from a few hundred dollars a piece to more than a thousand. You know, with so many things needing to be done, primarily infrastructure, I mean, Look around, there's just so much severe infrastructure improvement that needs to happen. I don't want people to think that this is going to be an overnight solution. We still have to pay for them somehow. The mayor's office says they'll be looking at grants and other sources of funding. As for those first 100 lights, they say they'll be working with IMPD and neighborhood leaders to decide where those lights should go. Back to you.